Hi, I'm Gerald from Checkbuster and in this video tutorial I'm going to show you the power of our management reports. First of all, to see the management report I need to go to my.checkbuster.com and sign in. I will select management report. And basically the screen is divided in three different areas. First of all, we have our uh, filter options on the left hand side. I can select a date here at the top and I can select different views. First of all we will show you a graph of the total inspections held per week. So I can hover over the bullets and get the detailed information there. We also show you an average score per week. So this is the average score of all the inspections together based on the date selection and the filter selections. Again, I can see the detailed information when I hover over it. On the um, uh, bottom part of the screen, we see an average score per organization, which shows me per organization the average score and the total inspections that I held, and a average score per checklist that I created. As you can see, there are multiple checklists here, and multiple organizations and locations. The great thing of the average score per organization and average score per checklist is that I can zoom in on the data presented. First of all, let's enlarge our screen by clicking on the ar uh, arrows here. Let's go to Checkbuster Demo. I see that a total of 72 inspections are held at this organization. So where are all the inspections coming from? I can show you that by clicking on this diagram. I will zoom in on Checkbuster Demo and I will see all the different locations where the inspections are held. So for example, in an uh, Amsterdam location, 26 inspections are held, while in the The Hague location, also 26 locations are held. I can show a table view. I can even drill down further on. I can view what happened within the Amsterdam location. So I can click on the location and I will get an overview of all the checklists that are filled in at that location. So I will have here an alarm system and configuration plan checklist. I will have a bakery equipment general checklist, etc. etc. I can also always show the table view of this. Let's zoom in to the bakery equipment because I have eight inspections done here. I will click on it and this will show me all the different sections and the different scores within this checklist. So I have a section general machine carding, it scores a 8.64. Click on it to show the detailed items. How to do that? And I will sh see the detail of view per item. I also can view it in the table view. With this information, you can drill down to get the detailed problem of your organizations. Okay, let's go back to our overview screen. Same thing goes if I take the uh, entrance from the efforts corporate checklist. So I can click on the checklist, it will show me the sections of the checklist. Select the section and I will see the different results of the different items. Okay, let's go back to the complete overview. Okay, I told you about the filter options. So what I can do with the filter options is, for example, change my results to only a specific location. I can click on select location. Let's say I only want to see results for the location Amsterdam within the organization Checkbuster demo. If you don't see the save button, just scroll down and click save. And you will see all the results will change. I can also do that and change the selection to a couple of checklists that I want to see the results. So let's say I only want to see the results for the bakery equipment general checklist. I scroll down and hit the save button and my inspection of you will change. What I can also do is change the date settings. For example, only show me the inspections done past three months. Okay. And what I have now is an overview, a detailed overview with the selection in place. 
if you want to save these filter options that's possible with select or save our filter options so I can go to save current selection and I can give the filter a name Amsterdam three months for example what I can also do is reset my filter and I will go back to my starting position Another thing I told you is that we have different views. We are now watching at the trend dashboard. What we can also do is going to the item view. And by clicking on the item view, my view will change. And what I see here is all the items within my selection. So if I hover over this item, I see that this item has been filled out 10 times in 10 inspections and I can conclude because it's a hundred percent score that every time this item was inspected it was correct the interesting thing of this view is that, you, that it gives you a really quick access to items that are not scoring always correctly because for example this item it's inspected eight times and it has a 25 percent valid score so maybe um, we have to look deeper into this then for the last view I want to show you we have a view where we call items per month and what we do in that view is that we group all the inspections in one month and compare them if that same inspection is held in the next month so for example I see here the item all gears are completely enclosed this item is filled in in multiple months in May in June and in August and all the times it scored a hundred percent with this overview and with the correct settings in your filters this overview can provide you a trend line of how items are improving within your inspection I can go back to my trend dashboard by clicking on trend dashboard and that brings me back uh, to my trend dashboard thank you for watching 